Welcome back, everybody. What have we done? I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is Black Mesa, Chapter 3, Unforeseen Consequences. So let's just get out of the test chamber. some debris blocking the elevator, so we must move it out of the way. I, listen, I... I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? A head crab is inside there. What an interesting interior. I wonder where its stomach is. Uh, hello? Ooh, you certainly want out, don't you? My, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? I'd almost hate to have to dissect one of these. I've got to find someplace safe for Isaac. So I can go find my family. I fear the worst. My gosh, you guys, what have you been doing with the teleportation? Sprint through that. And that is a flaming zombie. Oh boy, things are getting real in the Black Mesa Research Facility. And we have a head crab following us that teleported. Let's get out of here. Now, you can. Try and lure the head crab to jumping in the fire, but in this case, it's going to be very hard to do, so I'm just going to bypass that and just move on. And 
there we see a flaming zombie torso, which now we must crouch underneath the red laser. Poor security guard. Now, you can go down the ladder if you want to, but there's not going to be anything down here, except for brain matter, and a skull, and other types of giblets from the science team. No armor battery is down here. So, let's go up the ladder to the very top. I'm glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Science team uniforms? Oh, you are right, security guard. And boy, the zombies look ugly. Any idea of how many of our crew have died? It must be this head crab that is turning them into zombies. Ready when you are. We have guests. <laughs> How do you like that? Now, the thing about some zombies, the head crabs can sometimes survive, and so in this case, always make sure that the head crabs die. Now, there's nothing inside this room uh, except for the two zombies, so we will just move on. And we now have access to the flares. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. But we are not going to use the flare on the zombies. I think I just got a promotion. Um, the reason for no flare is because of the natural gas coming out of the pipe. Uh, you don't want to create a firestorm. Uh, but we will use this flare... Oh! Well, that's kind of cute. You can carry the head crabs around. <laughs> Are we waiting for somebody in particular? <laughs> now that I did not know, actually. <laughs> um, we will use the flare, though for this room right here. <laughs> Don't let him get near you. That would look nice in my trophy. And in this room, we have an armor battery. Power 4G, 5, 
But there is nothing else inside this room. Does it look cooler if I hold my gun like this? This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Hey, you be careful in there, Doc. I sure will, security guard. Thank you. Still standing around. Um, so like before, there is nothing inside this room, no items to grab, just a couple of zombies to kill, and that's pretty much it. So we will move on down to the locker area again. And we microwaved a head crab. Now, if you are below 100% health, you can use the sodas, um, up to 15 sodas, to boost yourself up 15% health. Okay, Doc. Grab what you got to grab. Don't dawdle. Um, so inside the bathroom, there is nothing to grab except for a health machine if you need to use the health. But this locker is the one we want to explore. It has two pistol clips in it for when we get a pistol later on. Uh, but that's it. That's inside the locker room, so let's, uh, go back. I saw that shot, security guard. That was an amazing headshot. Oh, and you can also see uh, the person who has now the head crab on his head. You, of course, he's missing his head now. Um, by the way, the security guard, at least this particular security guard, he is invincible. He will not die until we reach the front desk. Sector C, anomalous materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible biocontamination. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? This is Sector C. Come on, you bastard. Pick up. Oh, good. He did light on fire there.
and we were playing a small dance there with the head crab. Uh, but now he's dead. My goodness. It seems that the tram is not here, and we can't take the tram to the surface anymore, so we must find an alternate way to the surface. Somebody. Anybody. Which is right through this air duct. Wonderful. A crowbar. Now we take down zombies with a melee weapon. Very nice to have. Um, there's nothing else inside this room, so we must jump through this little hole right here. feasting on the head of the scientist. Too bad we can't go and save him, though. The head crab, I mean. And we're going to enter into the coolant reserve area. So, both the security guard and the zombie will both die, so... And we must put the retinal scanner back on to its thing right here. And then the door will open up. Vaccinated? Get a booster! That does remind me of Bioshock a bit with the uh, poster art there. Communication. Exchanging ideas is a two-way process. Why, yes. Yes, it is a two-way process. Now, when you enter into this coolant reserve area, we are in the coolant reserve of Black Mesa, by the way, be mindful of this crate right here. It has an armor battery inside of it, and when you enter inside the coolant reserve itself, be mindful of two batteries. Um, but that's all that is inside here. Uh, the coolant tanks have burst, so that's why it's very cold inside that room. And we will move on through the next room. Now sometimes, and sometimes not, a crate will drop a health pack, depending on if you are below 100% health or not. And yeah, don't bash the explosive crates, obviously. Now inside this room is a zombie, which we can't kill. We don't have flares, we don't have a gun. So we must, uh, move on from him. And we see this broken down elevator. And as we see, the elevator is filling up with water, and we see our O2 counter dropping down in oxygen. 
so we must escape through the roof to the top of the elevator. Safety first. Walk, don't run. Think. Prevent back injury. Bend knees to lift. Now this crate right here. If you are below 100% health, it will drop a health pack for you. I'm pretty sure that it will. If it doesn't, just let me know in the comments below. We'll go to the right side first. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of giblets in such a short time. Oh, we see uh, an, an entire brain, an entire eyeball that has come out. It's just a disgusting mess. I love it. And here, everybody, meet the barnacle of Black Mesa. Now, unlike Half-Life 2, it does take multiple crowbar swings to kill a barnacle, which means he will be able to eat you. So we must use the barrels to proceed as distractions. Now, we will be back later on to destroy the barnacles once we get access to a pistol. And there we see him, everybody. The G-Man. He is watching us. He is probing us. For what reason, we don't know. Now for this part. What I like to do is just sprint forward. And there he is. The lovable sweetness. The hound eye. Too bad I had to kill him, though, with my crowbar. Our goal for this room that we are in right now is to head inside this room, but it is locked right now because the temperature is too hot, too low. Temperature-controlled storage raise temperature before entering. It's negative 96. So how do we raise the temperature of the room? That is where these um, heating reserves come into play. We must find a way to turn them on. And to do that, we must uh, continue on to find that way. Oh, there. Headcrab tried to scare me. <laughs> so inside this coolant room, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing to grab except cold air, so let's get out of here. There is a zombie inside this room like last time. We will get a gun very shortly to be able to kill him. Now, for these two suckers right here, what I like to do is just let them come to me. And I just crowbar bash them to death. Once we're up here, we'll take the left path, where the, we saw the G-Man watching us. And over here, we see a security office, which we cannot access just yet. But we will. Which means we must go back and go down the right path. which is right here. Now inside this coolant room is something different. There's a health pack inside, so grab that if you need it. Oh. 
Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Excelsior! So, on your way back to the security office, there is no dangers to worry about, as long as you killed the zombie from before, right here. Oh, safe haven. Oh, well, at any rate... Over there's the weapons I spoke of. Oh yeah. We have the grenades at long last, but we also have a pistol. That will come in handy. I've had my fill for excitement today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. I'm sorry, I can't stay, scientist. I have, uh... Some going to the surface to be doing. Now on our way back down the catwalk, we see the temperature controls 1 and 2. Well, let's head down to 1 first. And use the valve wheel. This is how you turn on the heating reserves. So as we see, this tank is now turned on. We must now turn on the second tank. And as we see, both tanks are now turned on, which means the temperature must have risen. And it did. It is now 12 degrees inside there, which is much, much better, and the door has now opened. But first, we must go back and kill the enemies that I said we'd be back to kill later on. Which includes the zombie in the doorway. And it will also include the barnacles from earlier as well. Oh, he's already dead. He's dead too. By the way, there's a coolant reserve, but that just has a health pack inside, so grab that if you need to. And so now we will head inside this coolant station and just continue through. It's very cold in here, that's for sure. Yes. Watch out for that explosive barrel launched by the zombie. There he is, everybody, the Vortigaunt. We see that he is restrained by the neck and by the wrists, which means he is probably a slave to somebody. But who? Well, we shall find out later on. Now, if we go inside the room where he came from, we have access to some supplies. So we'll just grab those up and we will move on. Eh, 
and down the hole you go where you belong. Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Oh, that's never a good thing. Um, run along, Freeman. I've some sordid business to attend to. Uh, yeah. You take care of that business, scientist. I'm sorry that happened to you. You must have gotten scared. But anyways, we will drop down the canal shaft now. And then facing the ladder that we drop down from, we will go to the left side first. Take the barrel away from you so you won't use it against us. Because that barrel does hurt when he launches it. And you're going to go towards the barrel anyway, aren't you? What's your problem there, zombie? My goodness. Anyways, we eventually come to this valve wheel, which we will use later on. Now on the left side, this is the exit where we want to go, so remember where this exit shaft is. Eventually, we just come back to where we dropped inside this canal. So now, we will go back to that valve wheel, and we will raise the water level with it. Okay, so, swim forward, then go to the right, and then to the left, and then go up the shaft to the ladder. Ah yes, the freight elevator, just like in the original Half-Life, but first we must turn it on. Hello there, Mr. Headcrab. Make sure to bash that crate. Power level is 100%. For that armor battery. Now, you notice the security office is locked. We can't go inside there, so we must crawl inside the vent opening uh, to get to the security office. Because this is how Gordon Freeman does it. He is well known for his big crowbar, and he's also well known for crawling through vent ducts. Both of those don't sound right, but you know what? That's how Gordon Freeman rolls. And we'll grab the pistol bullets down here. And we notice an already dead head crab, which is so cute. I mean, I want a head crab plushie. It'd be so cute to have on my shelf. We'll just lay you down right here on the chair. There we go. 
Anyways, here's the switch we want. And that will turn on the freight elevator so we can now use it. But if you guys remember from the original Half-Life, we know there's going to be a bunch of headcrabs. So what I do is I hang over to the left side and just wait for them to come down to me. Do not miss this security office. It is very nice to have. We will wait for them to gather down below. And then we will just grenade them to death. And the giblets are still falling down. Okay, so now let's head inside the security office. Like I said, it is very nice to have. Because, not only do you have access to some pistol bullets, but you also have the HEV machine. So you can boost up pretty much almost all the way to 100% um, HEV. We'll just drop down to the green crate down below, and we must be very careful. There may still be a couple of head crabs left alive, um, but in this case, it looks like the grenade took care of most of them for me. Well, actually, it took care of all of them. some pistol bullets in that one. And don't miss this crate. Pistol bullets and an armor battery. Now, yeah, there's nothing inside the water, so no need to go inside there. Sweetness, what were you thinking? The sweetness blew himself up and died with it. So, to get across the bridge, what we have to do now is use the pipes. And believe me, this is not as easy as it looks because of this jump right here. Very difficult to do if you don't get a running jump with it. You can jump down there to the broken section, but I would recommend going through the air duct instead. We will be inside this room later on. But for right now, we will just drop down this vent shaft. 
because as we see, we are now on the other side of the broken bridge. So, yay! And there he is, everybody, the bull squid. I just love the fact that the bull squid's acid glows in the dark. I think that's a tremendous good touch. Alright, so as we see, the bridge that we want to cross is no more. We must make it to the other side somehow, and we will. Now, for right now, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I must kill all the enemies. I'm going to kill all the barnacles from here. I think that's all. The barnacle's dead. Power level is 100%. We'll head inside here. Now this is where you look down from below. And we will just head down below. Now, on the right side, you can gather up some supplies if you need it. And on this side of the canal, it looks like the barnacles are indeed dead. So, we will run to the other side of the canal. And, once again, make sure all the barnacles are dead, and which they are, so we'll jump in the water. So, yeah, there's nothing inside the water whatsoever, so let's just go to the left side and through the opening. And we're now on the other side of the canal, where the bull squid was. And by the way, this door right here is locked, but from this side only. Ah yes, here we go. The infamous crate jumping scene from Half-Life. The uh, security office is locked. We can't go inside there. So, to get across to the other side, we must jump from crate to crate without falling down, of course. This right here is perhaps the most difficult jump in the entire game. You must align yourself right at the corner of the crate with the other corner 
and pray that you make the jump. Why does it have to be so hard? I don't know. But we made it across in one piece. Correct pickup. Avoid hernia. Yeah, that does not look right to me, at least. What's black and white and should be red all over? Well, apparently you should be reading all of the barrels, uh, but I'm not going to do that. What if you had an eye emergency? Keep emergency stations free of hazards. Yes, please. I hate it when you get an eye injury and you don't have access to the stations. Yeah, please guys, keep it clear. Well, speaking of eye emergencies, look at his eyes. They've just been caved in by my bullets. And as we see, yes, we have now made it to the other side of the broken bridge, across the canal. Now, you can come inside here, you don't have to, there's nothing of interest. But all it does is literally take you back out of that locked door that we could not get through earlier. That's it, that's all it does. I, uh, I wanted to blow up the explosive crate, but it seemed that the hound eyes were a little bit too quick for what I wanted to do with it, so, um, I guess I would recommend backing up. I don't believe there's anything of interest inside this last room right here. Yeah, I think that's it. My gosh! Well, it seems we've entered the office complex of Black Mesa. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have just begun this game. We have a lot more chapters to go, and it's just going to get crazier and crazier. So, until next time, until Chapter 4, Office Complex, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care everybody.